Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you this really cute nude and red Valentine's Day appropriate, even though I'm a day late, <laughs> Valentine's Day nail uh, set. It's super easy to make, very sexy, very long, very extra. Let's go ahead and All right, get guys, started. So I'm going to be taking the um, AliExpress extra extra long coffin soft gel extensions. They're basically an prey dupe and to prep them i am going to take some nail primer now you can go ahead and buff the um surface of the nails i was just too lazy um so i just applied nail primer this is just going to create a sticky base for the gel polish to stick to and i'm going to be applying some base coat after my primer the primer just air dries you don't have to cure it or anything but after you put on your base coat just make sure you cure that <laughs> in the lamp Alright, so I'm going to be taking this DND gel polish in the shade French Vanilla and I'm going to be applying that to, I believe that's my thumbnail and my pinky nail. And I really, really like this color. I was looking for like a nice, like light nude and this one is just so perfect. I think it goes with many skin tones. I freaking love it. I, I got it on Amazon for I think $10 or a little bit less than that. And it also comes with a regular uh, nail polish. So it's a gel polish that you cure in the lamp and then it comes with a regular uh, nail polish that you can just apply and it air dries. So yeah, really pretty. So I'm just applying it to those two nails. And for my red, I'm going to be taking the Uchir gel polish in number 29 and I'm going to be applying that to my pointer finger and I'm going to be applying it to my middle finger as well. And just uh, on the middle finger, I'm going to be doing kind of like a slant look, <laughs> you'll see. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be like a crisp line for- ugh. A crisp line or anything because I'm going to be going uh, over that line with some gold foil so it doesn't matter if it's uh, a little bit crooked so like I said I'm going to take my um, imitation gold flakes <laughs> and I'm going to be applying that to my ring finger nail <laughs> so this is just gonna be a clear nail with some gold leaf now because this is imitation gold leaf you want to make sure that you seal the nail with um a good couple coats of gel polish or i mean top coat uh because i remember i used this gold foil on my mommy nails that i did back in august and um you know i i think i did two uh layers of top coat but it's still kind of tarnished it's it's it lost its gold color let's just say so i did like three big globs of um top coat the one that i used is from sxc and i i was thinking about going over it with some builder gel but i just didn't feel like working <laughs> with builder gel so i just made sure that i did like some nice big thick <laughs> globs of gel polish and i did three of those not gel polish top coat all right guys so this is how the nails look with two coats of the nude and two coats of the red so i'm going to be taking my matte top coat from you cheer and i'm going to be applying that uh, to the red nails because i wanted to have this like a velvety red look i mean these are kind of like my valentine's day nails um but because of the nude i just feel like they go with anything but i mean the red is appropriate for valentine's day obviously <laughs> so i'm taking some uh red crystals and some uh, caviar beads and I'm just going to be doing my bling design so I'm taking my bling gel and I am putting some of that on my pinky nail and I am using top coat that way I don't have to wipe it down and the pinky nail is super simple 
um, I'm actually just going to be doing three little dots on the side. Um, I just think that it looks so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be super simple. Uh, three little red crystals on the side. Alright, so I am taking my gold leaf and I am putting that on the line uh, where the red goes into the clear. So like I said, that's why you didn't have to make the line or the slant perfect or anything like that because we were just going to cover it up with um, gold leaf anyway. And yeah, and I'm just going to be putting those pieces around the clear part of the nail as well. Uh, kind of matching the ring finger. And also, I want to apologize if I am out of frame for some of the shots. Uh, sometimes I literally think that my camera is in the optimal place. And then I look back at the footage and I'm like, I was out of frame. So, <laughs> so I apologize for that. I did try my best. I always try to edit out like as much as I can, especially if I'm out of frame. Um, but like I said, this is a super simple design. So, you know... It <laughs> It's not gonna hurt anybody if you don't really see the whole entire thing um and also i am pressing uh the gold leaf with my finger that way it can lay flat and now i am taking my top coat this is just regular top coat and i am sealing that gold leaf in place uh being very careful not to touch the red because i want to keep the red very matte So I am taking my bling gel and I am applying a layer of that and I'm going to top it off with some matte top coat because I want to continue having a matte red nail and I'm going to be placing uh, red rhinestones and gold caviar beads on this nail. I didn't really know what design to do <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, what I usually do is I do a run through of the set that I have planned. So I already did um, the other hand uh, just to get like a gist of what I wanted to do. And I did the uh, bling uh, matte red nail on the other one and I kind of liked it, but I didn't want to do the exact same thing. So <laughs> I did something a little bit different with this one. Um, so I did the caviar beads all around the initial big red rhinestone and then I'm just going to go in with some smaller red uh, rhinestones and circle the caviar beads so it kind of looks like a flower and you'll see in a moment it kind of goes with the red rose theme that I'm going with and after I am happy with the placement I'm just going to uh, put that in my um, lamp to cure. So after I took this nail out of the lamp, it wasn't completely matte, so I went in with another coat of matte top coat, and now it is beautiful and velvety matte. <laughs> so now I am taking the thumb finger, and not finger, nail, duh, <laughs> and I am going to be placing uh, some gold leaf on this one as well. I'm telling you, the D&D French Vanilla shade and gold leaf, oh my god, it looks so pretty. Like, honestly, just do a set with D&D French Vanilla and some imitation gold leaf or real gold leaf, and your nails are going to look so beautiful, so bomb. <laughs> and after that, I'm just going to be uh, putting some top coat. Alright guys, so to make these nails Valentine's Day appropriate, I did these little gel polish uh, 3D roses out of these silicone mats that I- mats? <laughs> silicone molds that I got off of Amazon. Now the only thing is that I was having a hard time with these to be quite honest. As you can see, some of the gel polish got stuck, it wasn't coming off, there was a flower that got completely stuck in there. I don't know how- how these things- uh were not working out for me <laughs> I, I tried guys i was cleaning them off with alcohol but 
but I only got five out of them. Like I said, I did a test run beforehand, so the thumbnail on the other hand has a nice big red rose, and that's what I wanted to recreate, but I couldn't. So I wanted to go all out with the rose design. But I still think that this uh, thumbnail came out cute. So uh, at first I went with some bling gel and some top coat and I did some tiny little red rhinestones at the cuticle area. And then I took one of the medium little gel red roses and I placed it on top of the red rhinestones and I think it came out super cute, little dainty. And then I actually went with some matte top coat on the rose because like I said, I wanted some velvety red roses. Um, and yeah, that is the completed set. I think it came out super cute. Let me know what you guys think. So that is it for this tutorial guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I hope you guys have an amazing day today or yesterday if you had a nice Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let me know and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!